today's news, has Wall Street just flipped the switch on crypto? Is this the beginning of XRP's takeover? Because XRP ETF rumors are circulating in full force once again. Franklin Templeton and SBR Holdings are planning a joint venture, which is huge news. And seemingly, the big central banks in America are now gearing up for this digital revolution, a financial system with blockchain technology, one that will be ruled by Ripple and XRP. First things first, massive this just in from the Good Morning Crypto, over $1.1 trillion was wiped out from the US stock market earlier, which is absolutely insane. The Magnificent Seven consisting of Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, Alphabet, Amazon, Meta and Tesla has lost a combined $500 billion in market cap, making up almost half of the total losses, which is absolutely absurd to put that into perspective that is almost the total market cap of bitcoin alone right now gone in a blink of an eye and this makes it one of the worst u.s stock market declines since 2022 seemingly the reason behind this crash was because many investors just couldn't continue to wait for their meaningful profits to arrive so they decided to cash out but what if this was just the flip of the switch moment to see the inevitable rise of crypto as all these major fintech and trade fight institutions are now going all in on this asset class. Banks are gearing up. Bank of America, Capital One, JP Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo and of course many many more are now offering a new digital wallet called Pays. This is massive news and physical proof to you that the systems with digital payments, with blockchain technology and digital assets is almost upon us and Ripple and XRP will be at the center of it all. Keep in mind that Ripple is in close partnership with the likes of Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo and many others in the United States and of course all around the world. And the XRP ledger can scale to trillions of transactions per second with the help of interledger protocols and payment channels replacing the need for Swift. This diagram shows you exactly how. The banks are aware of this and that is why they are using Ripple's technology already. That is why you have people like Lauren Believe of Ripple attending major, multiple major events like policy meetings for example. In this instance, she was recently in attendance at the Point Zero Forum in Zurich, Switzerland where sharing insights and engaging in meaningful discussions about the future of finance with industry leaders and innovators like the Monetary Authority of Singapore, JP Morgan, Apto, BNY Mellon, Circle, Standard Chartered and many, many more. Crypto's explosion has never been closer and XRP is about to shock the world, especially once XRP ETFs are finally offered and on the table, which me personally, not financial advice of course, but I strongly believe that it is inevitable and it's happening much sooner than expected and let me explain why. Firstly, the SEC closed meeting has just happened. Speculations are circulating that this is a settlement deal with Ripple and the SEC and that this would be the flip of the switch moment for XRP, seeing US institutions like BlackRock and Vanguard and the rest green light of a mass adoption of XRP and that will most likely be through the process of XRP ETFs. And these rumors are circulating in full force now as Hashdex has added a number of cryptos to their portfolio. Everything in this list is approved as an ETF and of course we can see Ripple and XRP right below Solana. But that is not all, we have an interview here with Paul Barron confirming that part of 21 Shares' vision is to launch an XRP ETF. Take a listen. Why would we not see maybe, because uh, there's no you know futures needed there, why not see an XRP maybe go to market much faster? So uh, just given our position, uh, Paul, we listed the world's first and have the world's largest Ripple uh, ETP. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we're bullish on on XRP as an asset. We've published a lot of secure, uh, sorry, a, a lot of research about it, and we've been comforted by a lot of the court decisions that have come up um, uh, on on it not being a security. Uh, I would say that it's absolutely part of our product uh, vision. This is huge news and further confirmation of the inevitable XRP ETF that are incoming, but we are not done. We are not done there. It is strongly believed that the ETF will be offered sooner than expected, especially now that Ripple partner SBR Holding has now entered the US ETF market. 
This is massive news. Furthermore, though, in some more bullish news regarding SBI and therefore Ripple and XRP, Franklin Templeton are planning digital asset joint venture with Japan's SBI holding. As we can see, Ripple's banking giant partner SBI is joining Franklin Templeton in creating an investment company with a focus on digital assets. Franklin Templeton was the first major incubant to launch a tokenized money market fund on a public blockchain in 2021. It started by using the Stellar blockchain but extended it to Polygon, Apto, Arbitrum and Avalanche. It was the largest on-chain money market fund AUM of $402 million until shortly after BlackRock launched the build. However, the asset manager's interest extends beyond tokenization and it is deeply engaged in crypto research. In order to understand the area, it operates nodes on a dozen blockchains. This is major news. A major partnership showcase and Ripple expanding their reach once again. And furthermore, Franklin Templeton has ETFs for both Bitcoin and Ethereum and is eyeing the potential for a Solana ETF as well. Solana is believed to be at this point the number three behind Ethereum and Bitcoin. And XRP is due to follow as number four shortly after Solana, as all the major institutional investors have now got a taste of this market and just can't get enough of it. As BlackRock's head of digital assets, Robert Michnik, emphasizes in this interview, there is a ton of demand from our clients to gain access to the leading crypto assets. And spoiler alert, these leading assets consist of obviously Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and of course, XRP. Take a listen. A really beneficial thing for investors and for markets, what's happened with these ETFs, they've um, brought access to these assets, which many investors clearly have wanted uh, and have been excited to, to get the opportunity uh, to hold through an ETF uh, and brought that into a regulated uh, environment in, into these wrappers. There's a ton of demand from our clients clearly to be able to access the leading crypto assets within the exchange traded wrapper and so um, you know, it's been a great year from that standpoint. This is another piece of major evidence to showcase the growing possibility of XRP ETS being approved and much sooner than you may expect. Robert Michnik has been whispering in the ear of Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock for years now. That is why he is now so bullish on this asset class, why everything is speeding up more so now than ever. And of course, Robert Michnik has got his passion for crypto for this asset class from his previous employment which you guessed it, it was at Ripple. I am telling you that every single major financial or technological institution is connected indirectly or even directly to Ripple and XRP. And in this case, BlackRock is directly connected to Ripple through the likes of Robert Michnik. The reason why he is such an important figure is due to his current position, head of digital asset at BlackRock, but also because of his contribution to Ripple and XRP previously. He worked closely with other Ripple employees like Susan Athey to create a fundamental valuation framework for crypto assets and in particular, and specifically for XRP. And he predicted that XRP would be worth over $5,000 in the future. So from the 50 to 60 cents it's at right now, that would be a 10,000 X in price. Keep that in mind. That is the value of XRP potentially to be in the future. There are massive bullish times ahead of us and they are closer now than you think ever than before. But remain vigilant, do your own research and don't look short term. Think long term and I'll see you in the next one.